Hi guys, welcome to one more video. In this one, we'll take a look at symmetric tree problem. Difficulty level is easy. So I have few trees drawn over here. So what is symmetric tree? So symmetric tree is a binary tree where left, no, hold on. Is this left for you guys? No, this is left for you guys. So left tree of the uh, left child tree should be equal to right child tree, right? So what does that mean? So let's say if this is our tree, if we draw like a line in the middle, this left tree should be a replica of right tree, right? So let's say if you draw this tree on a paper and if you fold it in the middle and if you fold the paper, they should exactly overlap each other. So that's your symmetric tree, like it's a mirror image of each other. So this is a symmetric tree. And if we draw a line over here, then this is also a symmetric tree. And if we draw a line over here, then this is not a symmetric tree because this node should be here, like just like this one, right? If this is symmetric tree, then this is not a symmetric tree. So there you go, guys, a uh, simple problem. And uh, even the solution is simple to it and code is really short. So hopefully this would be a short video. We'll just cruise through it. Okay, so we'll take this tree to run our algorithm on. So for any tree, like uh, any binary tree, what do we have? We have root node, right? So the only way to start is like from root node, go to left child and go to right child, right? So let's do that same over here. So from this, we go to left child and we go to right child, right? And whether it's a symmetric tree or not, what do we do? First, we check whether they are null or not, like if either of them is null, then obviously it's not symmetric. And then second, we check the value. If value of both the nodes is not same, then obviously it's not symmetric, right? So in this case, they both match. So we say that, okay, till this level, it's symmetric, right? Let's move on. Now, so we have these two nodes, right? Now, if we have to compare this level, what we do? So we do left nodes, left child and right nodes, right child, right? These two. And we compare the same things, whether are the nodes null, are the value same and all that, right? Since they both match, we are good. Now, look at, so we are still here, right? So what else can we do? We have to compare these two nodes, right? So left child's right node and right child's left node, right? We have to compare these two. Well, compare whether they are null or not, compare their values and all that. So what we are doing? left child's left node, right child's right node, and left child's right node, right child's left node. We are doing these two comparisons, right? Let's see if we, if these comparisons remain true when we go to next level, right? So let's say we are here, right? Left, this is our left node and this is our right node. Now what we did, left child's left node, right child's right node. So left child, left node, right child, right node. It matches, right? Let's look at the second one, right? Left child's right node, right child's left node, left child's right node, and right child's left node matches, right? Let's do one more time, right? Let's see if it continues. So this is our left node, this is our right node, let's say. So left child's left node's left child, right node's right child matches, right? Left node's right child, right node's left child matches. So. There you guys, it's a symmetric tree and these are the two rules we have to do. So let's look at our recursive function and let's make sure that everything is same. So we have a same method which accepts two node, left node and right node. And what do we do? We, the, we check whether either of them is null. So if either of them is null, then we return left equal equal to right. So if either of them is null, then we return false. If both of them are null, then we return true, right? Let's say if we are comparing these two. So if both the nodes are null, we return true. And if the values don't match, we return false. And what do we do next? We recursively call the same method for left nodes, left child, right nodes, right child, and left nodes, right child, and right nodes, left child. Whatever we did here, exactly same thing, we're just calling recursively. So as soon as any method says that it doesn't match, it returns false, all the recursive methods will start returning false and then we'll say return false. 
if all the methods finish and they return true then it's eventually bubble up and the tree would be true symmetric so there you go guys uh pretty straightforward let's just go to our visual studio code let's run the code and make sure that this runs okay guys this is our vs code uh we have our main method where we are constructing this tree uh i didn't construct the tree as large as what we did on the whiteboard i was just feeling lazy uh you guys can create the whole tree as big as you want the link to the code would be there in the description so feel free to access it c sharp java both versions are there so yeah so we are constructing the tree and then we are calling is symmetric and we are passing the root node and in this is symmetric what we do is we pass the left and right child and what we do we compare those two conditions if they both pass then what we do we call is symmetric tree is same recursively and what we pass we pass left child's left and right child's right and then left child's right and then right nodes left child did i screw up left right again you guys know what i mean right <laughs> uh yeah just we call that recursively and if all the methods return true then we say it's symmetric if any of them say it's false then it's not symmetric right so let's run the code and make sure that whatever i said is true and i'm not lying right dot net run and this should be a symmetric tree right so there you go is tree symmetric yes true so that's it guys if you like the video give me thumbs up and let me know your suggestion feedback in the comment box and subscribe to the channel for more videos see you in next one